One of my most popular other videos on the channel is around how to set and trim auto level on a KK 2.0 board. You can also do a similar thing on the good old multi Wii board, which looks like this. This is um, a spare one that I have, but just to show you kind of what it looks like. Now, I quite like these boards. The Yaw Axis rudder control can sometimes be a little exciting because normally the magnetometer on it will pick up electromagnetic interference from the power lines, but apart from that, it's pretty good. And actually, the auto level, in my opinion, is much better than that on the KK 2.0. So what I wanted to do was put a little video together to show you how to do it and go through the processes. And what we'll do in this video is go through the bits and pieces that you need and then the process and then we'll actually show you the process on the transmitter and the other bits and bobs. So first of all let's talk about what you're going to need. We don't need the model with the multi wheat on for this bit. Um, there's only two bits really, apart from the stuff that you would normally have to set the model up then you only extra bit that you're going to need is a bubble level and that is just to make sure that when you teach the board what level feels like that it is actually level and once you've done that then you fly the model and you actually trim it to make sure that it flies normally in acro mode i.e. not auto level just using the trims on the transmitter as you would normally just to make sure that it flies level. Once you've got it flying level, then you click it into auto level mode and you notice which way it's drifting. So say for example, it was flying level and hovering nicely on acro mode and you clicked it into auto level and it suddenly started to pull to the right. What you do then is click it out of auto level mode, land the model, and then you go through a process to actually teach the model or to introduce trim just for the auto level setting and the way you do that is you push the throttle right to the top and then you move the in a mode 2 transmitter the right stick in the opposite direction i.e. where you want the correction to be so for example if the model was flying to the right what we do is we'd land it we'd push the throttle to the top and then we would push the uh, right hand stick, the aileron stick, across to the left and then back to the centre. And we probably do that two or three times to put in two or three clicks in inverted commas of correction. Then we take off again, we'd hover the model, and we'd then we'd click it into self level mode. We would see what the correction looked like, whether it was enough or it wasn't quite enough. In this example with the diagrams, there's still a little bit more to be had, so we'd land it and we click in another one, maybe two clicks of correction, and then fly it again. And similarly, if uh, the model is going backwards, then you'd um, use the trim by moving the stick to the top and back a couple of times. If it was moving to um, uh, towards you, i.e. back, then yeah, so, so basically you put the stick the opposite way to introduce the um, the correction just like you would with the trims on the transmitter. So what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll actually show you a couple of things that you need to do in the multi -week Conf program before you do this and then what we'll do is kind of show you the actual process on the transmitter itself and hopefully this will help those of you who have a multi wee board that the auto level isn't working on perfectly because once it is working great particularly with the barometer turned on then you can get this thing to kind of sit in the air pretty well um, and uh, and you know not have to worry about it and, and be able to fly hands off at height and uh, look around for FPV so what we'll do now is we'll actually put the model on the floor, we'll make sure it's level and then we'll plug it into multi -week Conf. So let's put the model on the floor and make sure it's all ready. So put the quad on somewhere nice and flat and actually using the um, bubble level to just go through and make sure that the actual uh, model is level in both axes. So uh, both side to side and front to back. And it's really key that you do that 
before this next step. So now the model's level, let's plug it into the computer and use multi Conf to make sure we can uh, have everything set before the flight. So now we have the board level and the craft is sat on the floor. We've connected um, to it. We can either do it using an FTDI connector or via Bluetooth. And we're just going to do a couple of things in this interface. You can actually reset uh, and calibrate the accelerometers using a stick combo, but we actually need to do two things in here, so we'll do it all through this. So this is multi wee comp. This is, comes as part of the uh, kit to configure and set up the board. I'm not going to go through it in detail here, um, but very, very quickly, you have the COM ports at the side that we're talking through. We're talking to COM7 because we're using an FTDI cable today. Um, we've also got the trace at the bottom of all the different uh, sensors on the board. The really wiggly one is our front, the barometer. Uh, the barometer is uh, is only good to kind of two or three feet on these models. So if you're expecting to hover six inches off the ground and just sit there, um, these boards won't do that, but it will kind of keep position in the air. Um, the things that we're going to look at in here is obviously now we now that the board is level, we need to do two things. One is click on calibrate accelerometers and you'll see all the traces at the bottom where the wiggly lines are kind of uh, go down to zero and then jump back up and that then means that the board knows what level feels like. The other thing we'll do is uh, up in here we'll actually add um, a level setting. So the angle, just click it on, um, setting is the uh, auto level. So what we'll do is we'll make sure that we can take off uh, and use it in normal acro mode and then we can click the switch and we'll go into auto level. The reason it's worthwhile doing it this way is if something weird and wacky happens with auto level you can click out of auto level, put it into normal and land the craft without any um, excitement. So that's the first thing we'll do. So we'll write those settings to the board and the next thing we'll do is then click on Calibrate Accelerometers and you'll see the graphs all jump together and then jump back and there we are. So now the board knows what we um, what we like as level. We're ready to go and do a test flight and we can start in acro mode and click across. The very last thing we need to do is just check that the throttle goes above 1900 at high throttle. So if we look here where the mouse is, top right hand corner, if I raise the throttle on the model, it goes to 1915. If I drop it, it goes down to 1105. Now, that's fine because you need to, in order to be able to do the correction for auto level, you need to have a throttle that will read more than 1900. I'll probably add a couple of clicks of trims to the end points for the throttle just to make sure that we absolutely get over 1900 comfortably every time. Okay, so we're done here. Now what we can do is fly the model and we'll take off. We'll actually then click into angle mode or self level and we'll notice which way it's pulling, whether it is level or whether it's drifting left, right, forwards or backwards. So I'll do that and we'll come back. We've flown the model, we can see that it's moving slightly to the right hand side and slightly backwards so we need correction forwards and to the left. So with the model still powered on and the motors disarmed what we do is we take the throttle all the way to the top and then to introduce a forward correction we do that with the stick and we'll do it two or three times and because it's going to the right, we need some left correction, we'll put a little bit in. And what you should see on the multi wee when you do this is the little blue light flash once to acknowledge that it's actually heard the correction. Once we've done that, we'll take the throttle back down to level. And then we can arm the model again by pushing to the right. The blue light on top of the multi wee board will go solid and then we can fly again and continue to trim that correction. So hopefully that's useful for you. So the two or three things you have to remember here are make sure 
that the board is level and that you've reset the accelerometers so the board understands that that's the case. Fly it first, make sure that in normal acro mode that you've used the normal trims to make sure that the level flight is, is happening and that there isn't any weird and wackiness going on. Once you've got that, by setting the mode in multi -week conf, click the model into auto level, note which way that the model is drifting, put it back into normal mode so that it's easier to land, land it and then put in the correction by increasing the throttle to 100% and it has to be over 1900 value for the copter to, uh, to hear it and then to put the correction in in the opposite direction to the way the drift is happening. So hopefully for those of you that have been struggling with that answers the questions, thank you for watching, comment and subscribe. Happy flying.